Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live tournament action coming at you right now. It is going to be beginning here on Cravas. Oh, no, no, wait. This is Terminus. No, it's Cravas. Never mind. It's Cravas. Sorry, I got to remember. This is that shiny map. It does have humongous dead space in it. As you can see, it does have dead trees to let you know that indeed that space is dead. But we're going to go into a phenomenal matchup here. It is going to be Karas and Fina Ospiffy. Both of these guys, phenomenal players. It is Fina Ospiffy as our blue Terran up here in the top right-hand corner. Karas going to be our green Zerg up here in the top left. So, uh, I mean, you can't really get much further away in this map. I mean, this is actually a fairly large map. And even in the, you know, the... You know, not it's not necessarily cross positions, but it's still pretty dang far because you really have to cruise all the way into the center of the map to come around because there's these destructible rocks that block your quick passage here. They can't go here. They have to go all the way up around the center here like that. So it makes it just about the same as it would be in cross position. So an interesting thing to note. Notice that Fino Spiffy already going to be working on a wall off here. And we'll see how that's going to go for him. Now there's one person I just need to message here real quick. Okay. And Fina Ospiffy does have his barracks going down in fairly decent time. Notice that Karas going for a fast expand here. Now, it is a half expansion. It does only have, well, they're 1,500 minerals each, so they're not like 1,000, so it's not a true half expand. But it does have a rich Vespian geyser as well, but it is lacking 3,000 extra minerals, and two min min which is minus two mineral patches there, so you do have to remember that. Now, notice that Karas, going to be cruising around here, is going to be checking that Zelnaga Tower. I think he's figured out where his opponent is. In the meantime, Spiffy going to be cruising up here to his second checking spot here and off to the third which is where Karas is going to be so he will figure it out here momentarily <laughs> but gonna take the long way around that's for sure now it looks like Karas is not gonna be able to make it in there and in fact there is going to be a marine here ready and waiting to kill 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 nice little wall off there it is tight even though it doesn't look like it those uh, rocks are actually wider than they look or it's destructible debris whatever Factory going down here for Spiffy. Looks like he's already got his first gas up and running. Probably going to see some Hellions here from Spiffy in the very near future. I don't see any second gas going down, so I'm a guess. I will, we will have to guess at this point that it is going to be a Hellion opener. Here comes your SCV scout. He is finally making it in here. Going to get some uh, scouting intel on this green Zerg player here. He doesn't see tons going on here. Just a whole bunch of droning. Does see the spawning pool up and running. Doesn't know the timing, though. However, is going to cruise up here, I assume, to the high ground. No, he is not. Interesting. I would like to see Spiffy cruising up to the high ground there to check that out to see how that expand is going. Let's just check our units tab here real quick. Notice that uh, if you know Spiffy in phenomenal shape, he does have a slight economic advantage with that mule. Uh, was Karas, though, slightly behind. Uh, kicking at his heels, not going to be in bad shape moving forward here. But he does only have the 20 drones at this point. However, he does have double hatcheries, double queens, and double the inject larva. So he should be able to catch himself up there fairly quickly. Here comes your factory. Oh, is it going to land in time? Barely in time. Wow, that was lucky. Clutch factory movement there. <laughs> I wonder who pilots those things. It's clearly not like a Viking pilot or a Banshee pilot because... Here come your Hellions, though. They are going to be cruising out. Notice we did grab a second factor here, so Spiffy going for fairly heavy mech at this point. Not even working on anything out of his barracks at this point, so he is going to be cruising out across the map. Going to deny some scouting there at that Zelnaga Tower, and off he goes to his opponent's base. Oops, we probably had to get our stuff fixed there. Looks like he's not ready to go up quite yet, but uh, he should be, to be honest. There he goes. Maybe. Going to get surrounded there pretty quick. One of them going down there in fairly decent time. Looks like he's not going to get tons of damage done. Uh, yeah, Units loss going to be absolutely favoring Karas at this moment. 
Nice defense there from Karras. He's going to be going ahead and clearing out these destructible debris at his ramp. Now that's kind of interesting. Notice that Spiffy does have his orbital, second orbital up and running here at his expand. Going to grab that rich Vespian geyser. Working on a third factory here. Wow. Okay, so three factories. Interesting play. He does have his tech lab out. Grabbing that siege tech is going to be pumping out some tanks here. So it looks like he's going to go mass mech here as he moves forward. This could be extremely interesting to see. Karras, in the meantime, going to be grabbing his third. Putting that sucker down in pretty decent time. Looks like those uh, rock or destructible debris finally going down. Boy, it seemed like an hour ago we checked on them. Lings take a good long while to make those things uh, disappear. Uh, kind of funny. That's all right. Looks like as we move forward here, a slight advantage, I guess, what would you call it? A food advantage for Karis. Oops. Units tab going to show 43, now 49 drones to 33 SCVs, 34 SCVs. So, uh, Fino Spiffy starting to fall a little bit behind in the economy. He can't rely on his mules to make up too much there. But uh, Karis now going to have to pre be prepared, I think, for a little bit of a uh, Hellion harass. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of them now. These guys going to be cruising in momentarily. Let's see what they're going to be able to accomplish. That many Hellions should be able to deal with these Zerglings. He's trying to take out that creep. Making creep spread as difficult as possible. Karis trying to get a surround on him with these lings. Catching a couple of them there. Nicely done. Speedling's doing a great job. And Spiffy going to be losing these Hellions here. Wow, Karis doing phenomenal. They're great micro. Units loss going to show. It's not too bad at this point, but Karis definitely ahead. So Spiffy does have to be careful as he moves forward, but he is going to be getting some tanks out on the field here. Got a couple already. Looks like he's grabbing the blue flame as well. It's really going to beef up these Hellions. In production, we do have, wow, look at that. Vehicle weapons, level one. So he's going to be working on some upgrades for this mech play. Grabbing out a Thor as well. Wow, we're going to see just about everything on the field here for mech. And Spiffy in phenomenal shape, but the math control at this point does have to go in favor of Karas. He's got all these Hellnaga towers. It's just kicking it. Makes sure he's got great tabs on what his opponent's doing. He's got triple bases up and running. Units tab going to show 54 drones to 48 SCVs. So Spiffy actually beefing up his economy there pretty dang well, and is uh, pretty well caught up at this point. Um, needs to be on top of his mules, obviously, but uh, fairly. I mean that that does close that gap quite a bit. So that makes me a little bit happier. There's nobody in there, is there? No, there's nobody in there. Cool, cool, but he does scout the uh, command center. He's going to see this starport here. Cruising, 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 but we do have one Thor out, plenty of tanks, a bunch of Hellions, and an Expand about ready to go here for Spiffy. In production, we've got Burrow. We've got Centrifugal Hooks. Boy, we're going to have uh, Banelings. We're going to have... a uh, Roach speed, glial reconstitution is what that's called. We've got plus one missile attacks. A lot of work here for Karis. He's getting a lot of great upgrades. Same thing here really for uh, Spiffy though. I mean, he's got that vehicle weapons level one is about to be complete, working on some more tanks and is still being fairly active with his Hellions here. These guys gonna be cruising out across the map. Or are they gonna be able to get some damage done? Blue Flame now gonna be super effective against these Lings. Couple Roaches out on the field here. Not a bad play. We do have a Nidus network, however. It looks like we may try and place it here. Yes, we do. Here goes your Nidus network. Karis putting it in a yeah, very uh, interesting position there. Could put himself in a decent position to... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Spiffy moving out of his base at this point. And Karis going to be in great position to make this damage happen here. Here come the links. These guys going to be obliterating the economy very, very quickly. Got to evacuate these... SCVs, here come your tanks. Not in phenomenal position. That is, oh man, this is brutal here. Totally out of position, trying to get these guys in a decent position to deal with this attack, but Karis actually doing way more damage than really he should have with this many units. So look at these roaches cruising forward here, taking out so many tanks. Absolutely brutal. Units lost. 
Going to be fairly even there, but I think that was really, really good trade there for Karras, man. He did a lot of economic damage, as well as killed off some very, very hefty tanky, or, uh, tech units there. Notice that Spiffy going to be putting down a third in this position. He did grab, well, actually, he got his third, but he's grabbing a fourth, I guess you could say, down here at the bottom position. So he's uh, doing a pretty dang good job as he moves forward here with his economy. And now looks like he, oh, we're going to get a re here. Oh, there's the, there it is. I was trying to figure out where it is. I'm looking over the base and I couldn't see it. It is in the center of the map instead, but he is going to have pretty decent uh, position, I guess, with these roaches. And here they come. He is going to be trading armies yet again. Spiffy with a slight supply discrepancy here is going to be losing a heck of a lot of units. And what do we have for defense? Not tons, to be honest. This tank not going to last very long. Blue Flame Hellions not super effective against Roaches. And moving forward here, Fino Spiffy got to be super careful. He's got a decent economy, man, but he just really has got to get his defense is up and running. He cannot be dealing with these. Look at that. Here comes another Nidus Worm. Probably going to see some units streaming into this location here. Nobody going to be able to stop that. This Nidus play from Karis is absolutely phenomenal at this point. Roach is now in all sorts of crazy positions. It's like, how do you deal here? But Karis now streaming Roaches into his opponent's base. This tank going to siege up only to be blasted away. He did get one shot off, however, on his own factory there out of frustration. And wow. This is phenomenal play here from Karis. Karis going to be taking this down, it looks like, in pretty decent time. Notice he is securing a fourth base of his own. Does have that plus one upgrade on these roaches, but that is about it right now. Just producing roaches after roach. And uh, taking down so many, so many pieces of uh, this guy's base here. Spiffy really in dire straits at this point. He's trying to fly his factories out, but you know what? At this point... Even in a 1v1, you've just got to say, you know what, this is probably game. Do have some roaches cruising down here. Looks like they did catch wind of where these guys are transferring to. Should be just enough to uh, deal with this. And there it is, the GG well played. Karis giving the GG right back in there. He says, I've never seen so much Nidus. It was phenomenal. He really did a great job with his Nidus there. So good stuff. Karas will be moving on in this tournament. Fino Spiffy, we will definitely be missing him. Thanks to you guys for coming out. Thanks for watching. Don't alt tab, always alt StarCraft. We'll see you guys in our next game.